Hello and welcome everyone, this is Blackadder at the RTS League channel, I welcome you to today's stream. It's gonna be quite a bit unexpected, just some kind of late night, late night, literally, and also late notice in there. And they were able to catch me on, so we're gonna be having a stream here, commentated 2v2 between uh, the Uncrappables, Owls, and they're gonna be fighting with Deities of Death. Quite an important match for Deities of Death, they were, as you could have seen, having a bit of an interesting discussion who's actually gonna be playing this match. As they're not entirely all that keen playing against the double Chronosis in here. I'm gonna be choosing double R. That's obviously gonna be because of the rains in there. Uh, but one has to wonder why just not use Isis, place monuments next to Rudox and profit. <laughs> yeah, well, they are both Isis mains, so interesting idea. They're gonna be doing something like that. Isis is, of course, quite powerful on the water altogether. Uh, but nonetheless, that's not what they're trying to do. They're gonna be trying to do this, and therefore, you're gonna be fairly curious. How the opponents with the Chronosis are going to be able to deal with that. So far they don't, don't seem to be exactly going all that aggressively for the dogs. And I'm looking at Swiss boy. So maybe there's going to be some different idea about what they're going to be doing. Now I wouldn't be even surprised by some kind of really like double crush for example. That would be insanely fun I'm thinking and probably significantly destroy him out of the players. Question is if it's going to be destroying him enough. So that the other Egyptian wouldn't be able to overcome it. It's gonna be really curious. But I'm thinking that Swiss boy with Nyan will be having something special in mind, hopefully. Definitely hopeful for that, so that we have some exciting game going on. So Toxota, Chariot, Archers and whatever, so basic anti-infantry damage for the Archers, more or less. Archers are obviously usually quite good against that. As the reconstruction on the left side is already in. You can see right about now that Joe didn't exactly deposit anything. So you're gonna be having problem with Villager. I'm gonna be getting at least the extra food in there, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna be trying to build it with the one village, obviously. I'm gonna think he actually could have empowered it. Maybe even more than here. Because right about now, legitimately, he's not gonna be missing the wood. He's already disrupted right now on the dock. So I'm thinking that he really should be... Uh, the correct reaction will be empowering the, the dock. That's gonna be already second coming forward. Uh, so you're gonna be expecting another reconstruction, so that's what they're gonna be doing. Decon, 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 please. Yeah, right now he needs to be putting in all the food. That's gonna be obviously... It could have been a little bit differently, but at the same time, Joe will be able to deposit all the food anyway. Because once it's under construction, then he can quite easily still send the food in until it's completely gone. So there it is. That's the reconstruction. And it's gonna be the villager still finishing with the other dog. You can see Joe well, very well knowing that he can be depositing all the extra food. And he's doing that. And he's of course gonna be finishing with the extra dog to the left side. So there's two reconstruction already done. They're gonna be doing it this way, basically using the cons on only one player, which is of course quite a good strategy as well as better anti-infantry, rather anti-cavalry this time. A damage for Grugnir's, or rather from Grugnir's Odin Spear, uh, so all the way to the top, right next to the front DC. Apparently quite nice lanes from a few piggies here and there. And it's gonna be blue crystal shard for better food, or other food, gold and wood gatherates. Well, so what else are we right now going to be looking at? You can see plenty of dogs already dropped by Fox, so that he's well prepared for anything that might be continuing coming for them. Uh, so all the way to the top side, still one dog and Temple already being dropped quite close by to the TC, because they are maybe even afraid that they could be head cheesed back by some kind of little rush. You can see at 9 racing it doesn't have any kind of worry like that all that much. Whereas this boy is pretty much at this point scared of it. <laughs> It seems to me it's gonna be about 430, fairly standard, as this ally seems to be heading for something similar. Yeah, he does have a temple in a curious position in there, but he seems to be missing a bit of food. Yeah, just 31 right about now missing for him, so he potentially could have been depositing a bit of it from the fishing boats, but yeah, well, it's gonna be advancing quite a bit later than his ally, about like 20 seconds, which could be given a bit of extra time to the opponents, and obviously right about now, with the Egyptians having already three docks, uh, it's not gonna be any kind of slowdown all that much with reconstruction because they could be doing only two. There are gonna be plenty more extra dogs for Fox and Joe to continue producing and basically just build them a bit later because they're just dirt cheap for the eggies. You can see only 50 gold for them, doesn't really matter all that much. You can be also, for example, building them with the boats. Uh, but nonetheless, let's kind of have a look around a bit. Plenty of gold mines here between Swiss Boy and Fox on the right flank. So far, I don't see the front DC, but it's gonna be about like here. And he doesn't see that any TC would be in water range. This one is gonna be too far away. 
even though it's looking like it could be potentially the closest, but yeah, it's not definitely not going to be close enough in there. Uh, As Prometheus is already in second dock, you can see BRM is coming forward and all the way to the top. That's going to be not a construction for the temple, but moving ahead or back. Back. Back, back, back. Going to be standing right next to the TC in case they really were facing some kind of brutal villain rush. You can see that's a lot of villagers. There's a lot of villages on gold in there. You can see 13 here. You're gonna be seeing even more on this position. You can see 16 for Joe. Maybe it's just a reaction to the fact that he was having problem at the start with the water. You can see he's basically only spamming docks, so maybe he just needs the only extra gold for that. Uh, but nonetheless, how's it looking with this echo? So far 376, and since they don't have any kind of good vision, like they don't have any kind of vision at all. I don't thinking I'm not thinking that you're gonna be seeing any kind of will rush or anything. I mean like still this is quite an important match for deities of that because they cannot really jeopardize losing any kind of game here in their run for the first spot in division number one. Alright, so something or not, well, something is going to be shooting, not everything. You can, for example, see this dog, it doesn't have anything in, the, in it, the same as the right one. So, Fox should be a bit more careful about properly depositing everything in all possible places so that he doesn't have any kind of problem with that and he's as efficient as possible that he can be. As all the way to the bottom, though, both Ras are going to be coming for the second dog. You can see difference empowerment with the Pharaoh, there is here empowerment with the Priest, six villages building. Eight villages building, so a bit of a different experience, or maybe just different reaction to what is going on to them. As you can see, wall chipping, protection of the tower, so that the easiest and simplest solution for them. But of course, right now the economy coming forward for them quite significantly. It seems to me they're actually not fighting for the water all that much. And I don't exactly blame them, because they already kind of know they're going to be significantly behind. And they really don't want to be even testing it, but they're gonna be coming back in Heroic Age, I'm thinking, to completely wreck Swiss Boy and Iron Racing Cat. As in the meantime, they're gonna be getting, of course, the Heroic Age themselves. You can see Armory being dropped by Joe on the left side, and on the right, it's gonna be Armory. As you can see, even farming is coming forward, so they just basically go in straight land build order with a bit of a boost from the water. What is, though, is slightly curious is the fact that Fox is gonna be the one right now casting Drain, and Joe is not exactly ready for that at all. He doesn't have any farmland all that much. Maybe he just didn't communicate properly. Because you can see that right now Joe is slightly, almost like a panic. <laughs> oh, he's slightly panicking, going for all the farms there for him. Uh, but nonetheless, it's right now going to be resulting into... Into... Well, probably even a second rain right after. And therefore Fox is going to be so insanely well off. Even though he's going to be losing the water, I don't think he's going to be mining all that much. As the opponents, they don't have any kind of farmland, at least so far that you can see. You can see only Swiss Boy having one. Not disappointing. Swiss Boy is the player who actually does actively use opponent rain. Like one of the very rare ones in the community that actually actively thinks about it. I remember it from the community games, he has done it more than once. As opposed to pretty much everybody else in the community. Uh, but nonetheless, he's gonna be getting second TC himself, but he is choosing the back one. Interestingly enough, as opposed to Nine, who is taking the front one. And he will. We're probably quite confident that he's going to be able to hold the situation as he's even moving forward as far as the front DC for Joe, which might be getting slightly tricky, considering that the opponents are fast heroic in. That's going to be a relic for the free Pegasus, or a bit of extra scouting, which could be useful for uh, the Rust, for example. But those two Turmas almost dead, both of them, 6 and 10 hit points. Yeah, probably not going to be surviving all that much longer. So the second rate is in, or the second rain is in. What I wouldn't give for a rain right about now here in Central Europe, with our brutal temperatures, and it's not even as bad as, for example, France or Spain or even sometimes England seems like lately. But nonetheless, or for example, Germany, that's also pretty bad in there. But at least you're gonna be getting some better weather, and hopefully, right about now, for the players here, this is gonna be also a bit more manageable for them to be going up on the farms and continuing with the play gameplay and play through. So you can see still plenty of dogs, really hard to get rid of in the classical age. Especially against the Egyptian, as a geese are just gonna be spamming them everywhere. Like, for example, this kind of blockade that's like for the opponents, it's basically like D Day and trying to land on Normandy. Well, they had Normandy, so <laughs> pretty much like complete slaughter. It's gonna be working if you're having enough numbers, but yeah, well. Apparently, even the allies were having bigger chances than here in Age of Mythology. Anybody against Aegis. But nonetheless, all the way to the left. Yet again, just kind of scouting here and also half a guard in it. So I'm thinking at 9 Racing Cat, 30 C right now taken to the backside. Might be thinking about the fourth one fairly quickly. Yeah, it's gonna be also front TC for Swiss Boy. Who was already having at least a bit of armor with, that, with some valor on them. Uh, so you're gonna be right now checking out how he's looking with the advances. Hathor in there. 
So I can already in for Fox. Shaft mine hand duck, so a bit of economical upgrades all across the board. And I'm definitely gonna be curious once in if they're really gonna be coming back into the water because I'll be expecting it. You can see the monument actually nicely positioned. Gonna be guarding all of this ground, basically this whole screen. So I'm thinking it's well positioned. And it's gonna be helpful at least for the time being in there for them. Uh, so all the way to the left, army right now coming forward from main racing cat, and also a few military buildings are gonna be already transported right next to the TC. Okay, so quite nice wall in. This is gonna be probably blocked altogether, it seems to me. You can see right about now two monuments, that's gonna be one pretty much wasted for some kind of effect. So when you are having this, there's absolutely no reason to be going for it there. Could have just placed the second one about here, and it could be preventing, for example, some god powers a bit later. But yeah, well, that's not exactly gonna be the case. Like, for example, vortices would be quite helpful in there in the later game right about now. But they're not gonna be happening. Or maybe even just the implosion, that should be also for Kronos, right? If I remember correctly. Because you usually you see Oranosis. And lately, actually, a lot of Gaias in there. So yeah, vortices and implosion, I remember it correctly. And there we go. So it's gonna be really quite well controlled. And it's gonna be just up to Joe to drop the middle in the defensive position. And luckily for them, they do have gold mines in there. It's gonna be one here, second there, which is not tricky enough. It's gonna be fine. There's not any kind of threat from the water all that much. Some of the water, they really are not doing anything at all. Or are they? Or are they? You can see right about now the army from Joe already preparing. All the way onto the right flank so far, Fox is not going for that at all. So apparently this is going to be only one man job. Trying to deal with the heroic ages. Uh, or rather before the heroic ages come from the opponents. Unfortunately for them, they weren't really that quick. Quick enough, as right now Rhea is already in for one of the Kronoses that's gonna be 9 on the left side and he's probably gonna be quite quickly dropping a palace somewhere right here. And okay, behemoths are gonna be coming forward. And those Turmas are gonna liken them here because that could be potentially allowing maybe even transport of temple there or there for a bit of a sneak attack on those TCs. So that's certainly something that you could be doing. And as all the way into the right flank, you're gonna be looking at a bit of an assault by Swiss Boy, but nothing all that much. You can see it was a bit of a, a hiding of those mythical units. As Fox is well prepared with three TCs already being able to get the front one. And therefore, it seems to me that the best chance right about now for this game to be going somewhere for Yukas is gonna be through pushing onto Joe on the left side. Because his front TC is definitely not in any kind of good position. So Temple coming forward right now from Swiss Boy. He seems to be at least handling the situation and gonna be in equalish there. Uh, whereas all the way on to the left, this is right now going to be even nicely stolen Petsuchos. And those Prometheans or the Prometheans behemoths are coming forward with obviously the construction of the Migral exactly as you would be expecting. And the massive trade that is coming into the TC, it seems to me. <laughs> three gold for whole three gold. <laughs> One hell of a trade, but nonetheless, right about now, Joe is gonna be in pretty deep trouble as he's gonna be probably losing the TC unless he can muster at least a few priests, which he does have. But for some reason, he's not exactly shooting with him against the Behemoth. <laughs> Unfortunately, the micro is not exactly with him right about now. He's gonna be getting rid of this. But shifting sands, quite a good idea. And it's gonna be helping him send it into the middle of the sea. Exactly. And that's how we like it. And that's what we're gonna be taking screenshot of. <laughs> because that's something you don't see too often, even though it's an obvious play. It doesn't happen that regularly. So yeah, there we go, even you can see we're gonna have a bit of a water fight right next to it. And the behemoth is gone, a few mercenaries as well. So those dudes, it's actually quite a significant army. You can see three heroes in there. Well, they are not gonna be really helpful in the fights anymore, at least for the time being. So the TC is gonna be saved. That's in the end very well done by Joe. He's gonna be getting a Petsuchos, maybe on a few more a bit later, as this trade is really quite something. Not entirely certain what's, go what's going on with the death, but the construction is up. And it's gonna be another Migdol, this time on the right flank, gone. And with the Migdol stronghold coming right up next to it, but without empowerment so far. Priest is right now on the way already to re re sorry, remedy that. It seems to me that green is... No, this is just... <laughs> That's not gonna happen, this palace. That's definitely not gonna happen at all. Uh, this is gonna be, of course, allowing right now Red to be potentially pushing back as those behemoths this time, they didn't exactly work. And I'm slightly thinking that maybe they really should have doubled. I'm thinking they really should have doubled a bit more. We're just trying to fortify the position here for Swiss Boy because he would be losing ground, definitely. But there might have been a bit of a chance to completely destroy Bjo, as right now he can see, he's already getting through Osiris, Fox is probably gonna be coming as well. Yeah, with double Helios coming forward, and that's gonna be a lot of vortices all across the map here. So those positions with the monuments are gonna be a whole lot more important right about now that they were missed. So for example, about here, we are really sweet, protect the back TC, is back TC yet again not protected. 
But he's at least having only like one monument. Actually, he's having two monuments as well. So yet again, the second one could have been going for better protection. For example, even like the front TC, but that's not much of a threat of that. Yeah, the bat now looking at the gods. So we just could have protected a bit at the back against exactly this. So right now, bat now, here we are going with the army. So how many Hekka guys does he have? One? Behemoth? No, that's not too bad. You can see shifting sense number two are gonna be gone as well. It's gonna be a bad now resulting into probably nothing all that great for Ryan Racing. He's gonna be losing all the army. And he's also gonna be losing all the push here all the way. On the left side, you can see fully upgraded with 45 TC Marbix. Gonna be coming forward rather quickly right after also. With Son of Osiris about like half a minute away at this stage. And even villages fighting in there. As much as they can, probably gonna be having skin of the rain, alright? Yes, definitely it is that. And therefore, they're not gonna be half bad. Look at that. 54% pierce armor, 47% melee armor. That is one hell of an infantry. One hell of an infantry, even with 65 hit points at 8.8 .8 damage. That is really rather brutal. But Mythic Rage is right now through. That's gonna be right now resulting into another push by Swiss Boy, as he's using the opportunity because of the shifting sense from Fox. Where to be helping uh, on his back PC and also helping his teammate there a bit. Uh, Son of Osiris number two is also coming forward. So two sons. Uh, it's gonna be rad nasty as the first one is already here. Right now, oh well, that was one hell of a hit. Did you see that? That brutal damage. It took like fifth of the hit points from the Behemoth. Yeah, well, that's how good he is. And so it's not gonna be. He doing exactly that kind of damage yet again fairly quickly but not before the tc is gonna be gone that's actually a significant achievement like the bat now for swiss boy as he's still trying to finish with the palace in there so we're gonna be a secondary foundation already as the heavy archives who are only male of oracle cost and as here on the left we are not gonna be expecting all that many upgrades from the ramp and see well it's gonna be quite good enough Hmm, it was actually fairly clever stealing the mummy because he was able to even insta kill the Petsukos. It was very well done by Swiss Boy, good quick thinking in there. Instead of taking the Petsukos, he was able to basically destroy 2 for 1. Very well done indeed, as he's still pushing forward. And apparently, Fox is having a bit of a problem right now having the situation in there, as he's trying to desperately get secondary Migdol for even extra gold mine. But much more problematically, there was another vortex right about now into the middle, and that is one that is gonna be a whole lot more deadlier, deadlier because Fox cannot fight both fights at the same time. Gonna be right now losing another TC, so he's gonna be down to only one. Whereas on the left side, though, Joe is gonna be using the opportunity to potentially move forward. Uh, apparently, a bit meme at this point. <laughs> With uh, no, well, this is reminding me of Age of Empires 2 and Supermassive with Spanish. And as he's gonna be pushing forward, and they are definitely, as I said, they're not really bad. Not really bad at all. They can be also significantly used as a siege weapon pretty much at this point. As they also do have a bit of extra damages, but not exactly against buildings just per se. Only against towers, 150%, but still, their 8 damage is not too bad, too shabby. And with Son of Osiris right now pushing forward as well and being thrown away. By the Hekaga again. That's how that's how boss he is. He can be throwing away even heroes. That's how boss these guys are. And well, he's gonna be though dying fairly quickly. That's like the bottom the TC is going for Nyan. And on the right flank, the TC is gonna be apparently rebuilt for Fox. As Nyan Racing Cat is gonna be right now sending the units into a new position, a bit more to the left, trying to get into Joe in there as he's getting architects. And not all too many. Mythic units are gonna be able to take down buildings. A few destroyers at least. This one should be really dying fairly promptly to be him off. I guess he's actually quite nicely healing because of because of the special ability in there. So very well done. But thing is, that right now Swiss Boy is pushing into Fox even deeper. He's gonna be getting the fourth TC. But I'm thinking that right now this is gonna be a pretty good time for Joe to be waking up into the dragon that he is, and he's gonna be probably able to reclaim his front TC and therefore. Go and significantly punish Nine Racing at right about now for what he has subjected them, subjected him to just a bit before. So the TC right about now gonna be still standing at 900 hit points. You can see it's gonna be another vortex this time uh, by Swiss Boy. He's gonna be coming all the way to the top trying to stop Joe yet again. But I'm thinking this is gonna be already the last one, right? Actually, no. That was only Nine Racing Cats. He's already out, but Swiss Boy is still having two of them. So this is right now gonna be his. Time to be shining with bronze shields already prepared in there. Uh, Son of Osiris is right now gonna be escaping, at least trying to escape into safety. Uh, so yeah, even this Murmil is not gonna be good enough and strong enough against him. The bronze shields in there as well for blue, he's having heavy chariots on top of everything. Uh, so this is gonna be right now resulting into Swiss Boy losing like tons of the army, but thing is, 
Oh well, Kraken is Hacker Guardians in there already prepared. He does have the 4th DC and he's gonna be becoming ever more dangerous to Fox. But Fox, as a proper Eggy and having some kind of base build or other base at the backside, he can be having some trade with his teammate. Bit of empowerment and it's gonna be basically the same as, the, as what the opponents are having, even through the whole side of the ball. And I'm right now talking about rather remembering that I was talking nonsense about the monuments because I was for some reason the whole time thinking that they're actually ISIS. Because that's something I was talking about at the very start. So yeah, but of course, I have to apologize to both players in there. They didn't need to be doing anything with them, protection of the back TCs. If they were ISIS, obviously, but since they weren't, yeah well, there was any kind of there wasn't any kind of need for that. So there we go, she's gonna rate about now movement forward. And yet again, trying to create, claim the TC, maybe even another uh, attempt to push forward with... Huh. <laughs> what are the camels actually doing here? <laughs> it was random, some red camels in the middle of the enemy territory, but nonetheless, I'm just going to be waiting right now for Swiss Boy to potentially use the next four TCs, and where he's going to be trying to do those. But so far it seems to me that he's having quite a good opportunity to maybe even push against Fox. Yeah, so right now champion Arkai in there, bronze and copper with the mail of Oricalcos for his opponent heavy chariots and the whole copper line. So a few more upgrades certainly could be handy for both sides as Fox is getting bronze weapons champion in front though for Swiss boy. That is definitely nice and sculpt axe for Joe to help uh, his axeman in there a bit more. Okay, so this is definitely look, looking all the way for Swiss boy. This is, get the, this is gonna be the point where they're gonna be struggling against the Egyptians because I'm thinking that the Egyptians got into sufficient enough late game. They'll be becoming exactly the nuisance that they are at that point. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe there could be a bit of opportunity with even the transport boat here, as he apparently saved the units in there a bit earlier, that were trapped on the minimap or rather on the map here. Oh well, there is even 9 racing yet, wasting about like 10 population limit here in a few boats. But I was just going to say that maybe they could be landing somewhere in the middle and basically just transport a few buildings somewhere exactly into the middle of the trade route. Just basically a few palaces, few towers, and they're gonna be done as right about now. There it is. And it's gonna be the next Vortex for Swiss Boy. Next to the last one. Still gonna be having one available to them. And right about now he's having at least two Hekka Gagans. Problem is that there is still the Son of Osiris, which potentially Swiss Boy could be though sniping fairly quickly. And should be doing that as soon as possible. As Joe needs to be taking a bit of a pause at this point. Now we're gonna be looking at maybe even right now Fox. Helping his teammate ever so slightly because you can see sending the villagers forward uh, to try and secure the gold mine in there. As you can right about now resume. Uh, whereas Swiss boy obviously right about now on the right flank he's gonna be stabilizing a bit more with some military buildings which is certainly quite a good idea to be able to help maybe for example even on the left side. So I'm slightly right now wondering what they need to be doing. Rather what could be the better idea. Is he could just uh, place as many towers, as many military buildings here as well, rather as possible. And then maybe even transport a few military buildings for Swiss boy also onto the left side. So that they could be like literally doubling the opponents. Maybe. Uh, so you can see that this is probably gonna be working. As the Hekagagant is still alive. And as son of Osiris doesn't seem to be really present in the fight anymore. Uh, he is trying to hide. Probably gonna be able to snipe the Hekagagant in there. Or maybe he's gonna be sniped himself. As do Arka are definitely up after him. Yeah, only 68 hit points in there. As the DC is still not claimed, so that is a bit of a small victory for Nine that he's able to do that together with his teammate. And as all the way to the top, this is gonna be looking like well a few Kontari here. But yet again, they just cannot get at this position as they don't have Thea. They cannot get the lands of stone, so they're not gonna be all that effective in the raiding, for example, against buildings. All the way to the bottom, there are gonna be still a few dogs. Uh, for Joe, who apparently doesn't seem to be having all that much of a mind of coming back into the water, and therefore Nyan should be just checking it out and maybe... No, look at this. Look at this. This is actually kind of not bad. Maybe there's gonna be something going on, but I'm thinking like Joe is right now preparing exactly for the eventuality of the opponents landing somewhere here, maybe even transporting the building. So he just needs to be getting ready for that, because if that happened, then they could be in pretty deep trouble themselves. But who is in trouble is certainly Fox on the right flank, who is right now going to be losing the Migdal Stronghold. Apparently even the siege works are not gonna be uh, all that prevalent here and all that standing for too much longer, it seems to me. It seems to me at least for the time being. Uh, siege works, well, yeah, definitely helpful of course into a few of those catapults there. So you could be getting rid of that, but so far he's not exactly doing that all that much. 
Okay, so the army seems to be so far kind of nice. Kind of nice indeed. Uh, so now the Miglo is going to be coming from the backside. It seems that actually Swiss Boy is going to be well upgraded at this point. You can see he's having iron shields already and bronze and copper, so he's well prepared. But even a Titan for Swiss Boy. And he's going to be casting it right next to this one TC here, which is a bit more to the back. Even deleting a few military buildings so that he can be getting there a bit sooner and a bit better. Now wait, the villagers. What's the relic? For better Toxotai Chariot, Archer throwing Axman and Arcus hit points. It's actually kind of something that he could be using looking at all the archive that he's producing into the battle. Uh, so of course, right about now, the Fire Siphons kind of have to be countered by all those mercenaries. Yeah, so all through top side guard towers, with at least a few crenellations in there. I don't think it's going to be really mattering all that much. Uh, so all the left, we are going to be looking at nine, still kind of trying to push forward. I think he's going to be even sending a few Fire Siphons in it. As Joe is going to be trying to finally get the front TC for himself. And it really seems to me that once Joe is going to be able to finish with the town center, then the game is going to be suddenly becoming quite more difficult for Nyan. But that's a pretty big if. As you can see how much of a struggle he is so far having. It's only two town centers himself at this point. So a few towers, definitely the idea. And I'm thinking something that they need to be doing to stabilize in the here a bit more. You can see very good economical upgrades. He doesn't even need query because the goals are almost out at this point for him. You can see even champion Kontarai, oh full iron for Nyan, holy damn, he's fell off. He's damn well off, his opponent only bronze shields right about now, uh, heavy axemen and heavy chariots. So you can definitely understand how Nyan is right now doing such a great job even against the mercenaries in here. But nonetheless, all the way to right flank you can see that this boy, I'm liking this, this is very well played. He's basically using every inch of the map that he can. Right now pushing forward and gaining some bit of ground so that he does have a bit more of a food hold right next to the front TC. So this is basically the battle, this is a battle for this TC and equals battle for the game. And it might be also decided by the Titan. Uh, so right now the rock uh, with three catapults is coming forward, quite nice at this point. Mm, can be just basically dropping it here. So that's gonna be quite nice damage. <laughs> Maybe even this could be actually destroying that because he doesn't have any units here. And he can be just hiding the catapults in the rock and just basically dropping it somewhere here. So it's gonna be taking a bit of time, but if he's gonna be microing it properly. Oh, this is also not a bad idea, but against the Atlanteans, it's not entirely gonna be working all that well. They are having way too much damage at this point. Yeah, he needs to be hiding that. A little bit of the micro in there. <laughs> As Archaia coming in. Okay, so Swiss Boy is gonna be using the last one. Right now, with still, I'm thinking there's gonna be a secondary locus still available to potentially do that again. But they already took down like 30% of the hit points, so that is really good. Exactly what right about now, Fox needed, and it's also gonna be allowing him to secure the TC a bit better and a bit more. As you can see, he's fully upgraded at this point 4620 hit points and give himself a bit of towers in the front. So, very well played at this point. Very well played indeed, as all the way to the top side, finally far off for a bit of empowerment, so let's go for the TC. Let's see if Joe is gonna be able to get that. Uh, so far, Nine Racing Gate just putting even more buildings in there. I'm thinking he maybe could be getting for the Titan himself. Heavy Infantry Guard Tower first though, Secrets of the Titans for Joe though. The resources are there, um, besides the favor, because he's probably building still plenty of Hekka Gigans, yeah. Where is he actually sending them from? Oh yeah, he's having... No, I'm thinking actually that's the auto queue here on the Hekka guy against that's gonna costing him the Titan. And I'm thinking he should be switching it off and build the Titan himself. Because, yeah, quite literally he really needs it. But nonetheless, there is the Rock who is having only two ti oh, uh, the two Wonders. No. Uh, catapults. <laughs> catapults. <laughs> kind of words that you say usually in similar sentences close to each other. But nonetheless, right about now, the Titan Gate is already going to be finishing. I don't think there's anything that could be stopping that. And I'm really thinking that Nine Nation it needs to be as soon as possible going for his own. That auto queue on the Hekka Gigans is really costing him. He has already moved the temple somewhere away, or has it been destroyed? Mm, he probably destroyed it. Maybe he has realized the same. Oh no, 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 no. He moved it all the way to the bottom. He's gonna be getting the Hekka Gigant out of it in there. Potentially getting rid of all of those dudes. Uh, so they don't have any more. Any Vortex, it was the last one that this boy was able to use, and therefore this Titan Gate, I don't think there's gonna be any anything stopping it. Kinda risky having the TC at only 900 points. That's really risky indeed in there quite a bit. So there we go, this is gonna be right about now the Titan coming forward. He's probably gonna be... no... I don't want to be saying that he's gonna be killing Fox, but I'm thinking he's gonna be in a really difficult situation. 
like really really difficult situation he's gonna be using this tc no questions asked you can see it's not even upgraded rather up or repaired to the full capacity that's something that Fook should be doing and he's gonna he should be spacing the towers more because this is gonna be basically within range of that one attack he's having quite a solid area of damage but the titan is gonna be probably finishing here even though yeah i probably will i don't think the titan is gonna be getting there in time uh, as on the water nothing much going on just drog apparently is gonna be here with unfortunately no this is actually quite a lot this is 11 this is 11 population limit right here being wasted for somebody who is only at two tcs that's not great that's something that folks should be realizing really quickly as nonetheless the titan is gonna be on the way he needs to be getting as many catapults as possible to get on the titan as the titan is trying to avoid all the buildings he doesn't even go for him all that much here uh-huh good idea get rid of the buildings and the houses especially maybe could have just basically destroyed all of them and it would have been a pretty good plan now the second titan is already on the way for nine racing cat and he is at the same time also rather well controlling the front tc for joe still uh, but i'm thinking he's gonna be since he's gonna be getting the titan first he should be able to right about now somehow finally claim it i'm expecting i'm thinking it's gonna be good enough for him <laughs> nothing from some shifting sets or whatnot and that is certain what it's actually from uh, but nonetheless right now the container gonna be heading forward uh, he is full iron for quite some time already as joe is still at only bronze shields with the heavy upgrades and pretty much nothing else than that as right about now this tc at only 900 hit points it's gonna be a huge problem as the titan did find his way right next to the titan gate for joe and this could be potentially spelling a complete and utter disaster as yep yep definitely all those market caravans need to be definitely going there but 75 percent 76 77 78 that's gonna be incredibly hard right about now <laughs> they need to be blocking him at all costs he need to be sending a few more villages a few more buildings absolutely anything in there because that is quite a brutal at this point oh damn he just needs to be sacrificing all all the caravans 90 percent 91 <laughs> is this gonna be actually legitimately working this is one hell of an epic time right this it's gonna be working it's legitimately gonna be working joe is gonna be saving with Fox the Titan Gate from complete and utter and assure the destruction. All kinds of thumbs up. All kinds of thumbs up of even all the neighbors all around here. That was excellently played. He's gonna be losing tons of trade, but basically not having the Titan would be maybe even like no, close to game over, I'm thinking. But right about now, he not only has the Titan, he's gonna be having advantage of hit points. 800 hit points in there. You can see it's gonna be built fight by the Hekka guy again from the backside. Uh, so right about now, 9 racing is at least trying to use the opportunity with the military barracks and the temple as the TC is still not getting upgraded or rather repaired at all. But 9 racing is gonna be getting a Titan himself. But here we go. Yeah, he's gonna be right now quite a solid fight still going on you can see a bit of a blockage of all the caravans unfortunately with the catapults and everything but it's well worthwhile because this titan is gonna be surviving with a solid portion of hit points about like a thousand as this second dude is already dead one extra hit and he is down with 500 that's actually a lot less than i thought he's gonna be surviving with but still he is surviving right about now 462 to potentially still take the fight here problem is that right about now apparently nine racing cat is gonna be getting the front tc uh, because the titan is gonna be eating all the precious population limit as fox has also right now lost the fortified tc in the middle of his base because of swiss boys massive push through the right flank as he lost the titan he's gonna be right now getting all the extra population limit and while they managed to get quite an important small victory you know the disaster is already coming for them and all the extra tcs are taken by the opponents it's gonna be getting incredibly difficult right about now for them but there it is that's gonna be out the titan gate which could be a good idea because it's gonna be luring probably attention of this titan and therefore he's not gonna be completely destroying joe so i'm kind of liking that let's see if right about now sweet boy is gonna be allowing this opponent to get a tc because so far that was close he was almost there almost there did you see that like 200 hit points in there like 200 hit points he was almost finished oh man it was literally like a second away from getting done but this boy didn't make a mistake in the end he was able to really make it work he was able to make it work for himself and uh, so right now he's gonna be a bit more pushed forward with a whole lot of a lot of fire siphons still there and we're gonna be looking at all the way to the bottom the titan gate coming forward but not really too quickly looking at only a few villages as uh, this is gonna be the titan already coming forward the second one of course dying not much of a question about that 
he ate just a few hit points from his opponent. Quite obviously, you can see about 700 down at this point. And this is gonna be resulting into this right now, Joe. Losing the TC, no questions about that. And of course, with the fourth already finished for nine racing, and this is gonna be Fox right about now resigning with Joe as well. And we are gonna be seeing a victory for the Unclappables B against Deities of Death. And oh, that was a game. That was a nice game indeed. Nice game indeed. Definitely enjoyed, especially the fight for the Titan Gate. That was one for the ages. <laughs> that was really quite something. But at, at this point, unfortunately, it seemed like it was a bit too late. And that 20 population limit that you're going to be losing, when you are already TCs down, then, yeah, it's kind of hard to actually get back from. And the opponents really played it well, chose their home map correctly, and they are able to get quite an important and very valuable victory for them. Very well done. Let's see what the deities of death right now are going to be choosing as the home map. I'm guessing it's not going to be Medit. Yeah, well, they are going to be playing... But it was a good game, and a, quite a different a Mediterranean. Usually you see all kinds of gods, but the Kronos is used a bit differently. This was really well done, and really good push against Aegis nonetheless. Well, it's slid done. Let's check into the post-game. Deities of Death also, also put up quite hell of a fight in the defense that was quite impressive. But in the end, even that wasn't enough. And they're going to be getting the first loss of the season. Soka, Swiss Boy and Nine Racing at both of them quite high score. They were playing similarly well. That has to be said. Let's see the economy quite a bit better in the end for Swiss Boy. Nine Racing had went into military upgrades a whole lot sooner. So that's probably the reason for that. Why it was going that way. And quite a good military count for Joe. Fox just really couldn't get going all that much, even though he killed even more than Joe. So he was just a bit more efficient, but he was also in quite heavy defensive all the time. Units lost quite high numbers in there. Fox didn't lose all that many, really. He just didn't have really the military count, but the units killed, they are saying and telling quite a different story in there. Yeah, 852, quite a nice heroic. He got even the front DC there, but once he lost the front one, and that wasn't still the end. And no, end kind of started to be slightly creeping in. And this boy was able to take it for himself. That was very well done. It almost looked like they could be actually screwing themselves over. Nine with this boy with all the war TCs. But in the end, it actually worked. You can see the most used unit have mercenary cavalry. And in such a defensive battle, that's already telling you how much he was pressured and for how long actually in the game. Yeah, civilians fairly similar, of course, across the teams. As they were playing similarly as well. You can see a bit of an edge for Fox, but nothing really too major and too long lasting there. But the military, of course, there was Fox, quite a nice army, but then he lost the front TC and he was. Just kind of having a hard time getting even back up. But then they were able to get in a pretty good timing or at a pretty good position with the numbers. Problem was, as we have seen, that Fox and Joe weren't upgraded, whereas Swissboy and Iron, they certainly were. They were fully done. So, GG.